Part across uh, an experiment I found online uh, planting chestnut trees for food plots. And I bought a bunch from a place in Illinois that sells the seeds uh, last fall. Stratified them in the fridge and planted them in my basement in February when they sprouted. And now it's July, the end of July. And we're gonna plant them around the food plot here and see if we can get them to grow. Supposedly the chestnuts are a better food source for the deer and they produce fruit every year. So we'll get chestnuts every year once they start producing, which could be two years, could be a year, depending on how fast they grow. But the issue is, is we're kind of in an area where they're not supposed to grow. We're in Northern Wisconsin and according to the grow zone, it's supposed to get down to like negative 30 uh, in the winter time. And these things are only supposed to live till in that negative 25 ish. So we're kind of right on that edge, hoping we maybe we'll get a mild winter and get them going. And hopefully they'll survive. But it didn't cost that much to get this started, so we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. Also, got some apple trees, which I know will grow here. And um, so we should have, should have those to go. So I got like 40 trees to plant, we got two in. I also bought these uh, um, grow tubes. They're supposed to help protect them from the deer. They're 72 inches tall. They're like they're their own little greenhouses, so they're uh, the deer are not supposed to browse them when they get bigger. So and they're supposed to grow in there until they come out. Those grow, grow tubes will last like five to seven years, they say. So try to give them the best opportunity to grow. So we'll see what happens, I guess, and and we'll go from there. At least the ground is pretty soft, so it's easy to dig holes. We got lots of rain up here lately too, so that makes it easier. Oh, <gasps> not okay. What? Not okay. Leave it in there. <laughs> what? This little red belly is the first snake I've seen this summer. Life! This is the first little snake I've seen this summer. A little bit of fertilizer. Or a lot of it. Whatever. That's an airplane. So we'll find some of these trees have more than one um, uh, trunk. And that's because when I took them out of my basement and put them on my deck, they got sunburnt. And I almost killed all of them because I'm an idiot. And it took them quite a while to come back. So some of them grew back same leaves that they had and other ones just grew new trunks so it's all good and this fabric is supposed to be well it's supposed to let the water through somehow not 100% sure. Oh, that's
So these things are bird nets. You put them over the top of these tubes. It keeps the birds out from, I guess they'll chase insects and bugs and stuff down there and get stuck. So these keep the birds out, which is good. We got one for every tube. Look at these elastic little mesh things. Actually, these things are pretty good for making uh, for paint schemes on Rapalos and baits and stuff. So we got seven trees planted on this side now. We're gonna plant two apple trees down there in the back corner. And I think we're gonna plant some more chestnut trees on the opposite side. And then there's a whole nother acre field on the other side of the property that we're gonna go and plant more trees on. So hopefully next fall or next spring, we'll be able to get a tractor up here and till all this up and make it an actual food plot. We've been talking about doing it for a couple of years now and just haven't had the means of doing it so we don't own a tractor or anything like that so we'd have to rent one until we got around to buying one but let me know what you think you want to see this a food plot or not i think it'd be pretty cool That's it. 15 trees planted in this field. I'm hot and sweaty. We got one more field to go. We'll see you over there. All right, well, we're at the second field now. We're gonna make a big U here with the trees, with the two apple trees in the, in the middle back here of the, of the field on the outer edges by the woods. And then we're gonna plant some more down these tree lines and maybe at the other end of the field. But another one acre field, another one that we hope to one day put some food plots in. So the flies are bad out here, Jesus. So, all right, we're gonna get to it. It's hot out here, we wanna get done. So here we go. So it's the next day now. Uh, it was really hot yesterday. We just wanted to get out of there. I was sweating like crazy, as you can see in the video. But uh, we got all those trees planted. I think we planted 34 trees altogether. There was 30 chestnuts, I think, and four apple trees that we put in. So 
was a long day. Uh, it took us like five hours. It was pretty humid and, and hot. We weren't even sure if we were gonna go. It was supposed to rain, but uh, we just said screw it. We gotta get it done. So this is the second weekend. We almost put it off. So went up there and got that done. This is my first attempt at uh, vlogging, I suppose. So let me know what you think. And if you have any ideas or suggestions with the trees or chestnut trees, if I've ever planted them, let me know what you guys think or what you've experienced. Um, and maybe that will help me with, with going through. This is just an experiment. I've never done this before. I literally watched a couple of guys do it on YouTube and heard one one or two guys say that it, uh, the food source is good, so it's supposed to be better than oak trees and they produce all the time, every year. So an oak trees only produce every other year, I think it is, so. Hopefully, like I said, we're on the edge, we're right on the edge of their growing area, so it, uh, it's kind of be a hit or miss thing. Hopefully we get a uh, an easy winter this year and maybe they'll uh, they'll get themselves established we won't have to worry about them dying but I'll keep you guys updated over the rest of the summer and in the spring and see how they survive and how they do and and uh, keep that keep it updated so I don't know I guess that's the end of this video and if you enjoyed it please like subscribe and uh, share hit the notification bell I'll have more videos to come soon thanks for watching guys